Kardeşim Aziz is an artist that grew up and was born in Iran and later on worked in New York City and combined two concepts on East and West together to make a third impression. <laughs> I was really happy actually that we are talking about Ardashir today because um, his work, um, it's so reminiscent of, um, you know, social critique, political critique, the protest. And, and um, I think I felt really excited that actually the time worked out that we can talk about Ardashir's legacy um, and how as an artist, he was sort of an activist and he, um, sort of made a translation of what's going on in his country in a very quiet way through his drawings. And he had a very sharp knife in terms of his criticism. Um, I think every day you and I and most people go through life glossing over, not even seeing anymore the many moments of negotiation of power that are part of everyday life. And I think one of the things that's so special about Mohases' work is that he strips that away and forces us to see the sort of raw, unmediated version of life. You know, the whole Persian art, if you look at it, most of the time is actually uh, to serve the power. So having somebody like Mohasses who has always been irreverent, who has always been, uh, you know, and laughing about something is a very powerful position. It's, it's very easy to mourn about something and get serious about it. But when you start laughing about it, then this is where you get the power because then you are bigger than the, 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 the other person. You can laugh at him because you just put him in front of the absurdity of his acts. He's a genius. Uh, he's a very unusual person. One day, one time, I saw him in the street and he was walking and drawing. And at the same time, he was laughing. In his mind, he knew what he was doing and he was laughing to the result of the drawing. Body politics uh, is a term used in Middle Ages for the um, society or people as a body. And if we think of each body or the bodies as a whole, it's a politi political act in the society. We were extremely compelled uh, when we met Sada and she shared with us the sort of incredible legacy of this artist and we're really eager to be a part of presenting the work for the first time in this region. So the body of work that's on view belongs to one of the later phases of his work. One of the things that people often forget about Mohasis is that he's many different artists over the course of his career. There are many different opinions about this, but um, I think, um, Ardashir earlier work was mostly about society and other people in his work. But in this later work, specifically this body of works here, all of them are Ardashir. And all the forms and figures reduce to one figure in the page. The work becomes less culturally specific. Um, and more distant from the original 
uh, biographical events, it, it becomes more universal. And um, in a way, it was a precursor, I think, to uh, many of the questions and issues that artists are dealing with today about the body, about gender, about power. This last or late phase of his work um, reflects his a very different style, which was in part informed by his deteriorating health, but I think also represented a kind of new experience for him in that he had um, had eye surgery recently and was able to see much better, ironically. So there's a kind of deterioration of health on the one hand and a, his vision changing on the other. And at the intersection of those two places, we find these works that are much looser, broader, more relaxed in a way, often incorporate color in a way that other pieces didn't, and um, more gestural. Ardashir got brief. It just, it's like a, uh, you have a plant and you cut extra leaves that get yellow and get to the main one. Um, Dr. Fan, one of the most experienced in the uh, Parkinson's disease, told me that um, he he's trying to hold him safe for like three, four hours a day that he's he, he was able to work. Uh, that continued to the end. He is a pioneer of an art form that um, is unprecedented in Iranian modern history, art history. Uh, and he is one of the most significant Iranian immigrant artists that I can think of um, that created such a large body of work outside of his country and that remained relevant regardless that of the fact that he didn't live in the culture that he was born to, a culture that he was being critical of. Um, and that, you know, it's, it's very optimistic for people like us, like Marjan, me and Nikki, people who have spent most of their adult life and artistic career outside of their native land. And so, um, and making work that somehow tries to be relevant to our own community, but also the international community. Whenever I think about Ardashir, uh, I think nothing but sweetness and also his genius in uh, what we call it economy of lines that he could express the most amazing human pain with a couple of lines. One thing I, I loved about him is uh, foreseeing what may come in the future in, in the world, in Iran. Tanzimin satire in Persia. Mahdi was not only a good Tanzimis, he had such a charm. He was an incredibly important, not just satirist, but a figurative artist. Um, and there is really no way to articulate, to even discuss the canon of figurative art out of Iran in the last hundred years without Mohassas being front and center in that conversation. He would talk and I would see uh, this amazing uh, humor coming out of him when he was drawing. And I noticed the drawing is changing all the time. The drawing coming from caricature side to the artistic side. So that transformation, that transition also I got, I made me closer to him. You know, I realized that, you know, it's not caricature, it's something beyond caricaturist. 